we have some nice trout caught at Whiskey Town Lake. And I'm here today to go through step by step on filleting these trout. Okay, the tools I use are really simple. Just an electric bubba knife, a cutting board, and then I finish off with a vacuum sealer. Okay, start by clipping the tail at one end of the board. And then we'll take the bubba knife, cut straight down, and then sideways along the bone. Now here, it's starting to move a little bit. That's only because I'm holding the camera in one hand and trying to cut with the other hand. So typically you can hold the fish down at the head after you made the cut and it won't move at all on you. And slice all the way back, just cut all the way to the end. You have a nice clean fillet. You flip it over and you do the other side. And again, the reason this is moving is I'm trying to cut with, with one hand holding the camera. I forgot to set up my tripod, but I knew the wife was coming home and I had to get this done quick. This is being done in the kitchen. And then you flip this over and there is your nice fillets but you're not done yet and the reason there's no blood i'll tell you i bleed these fish out immediately after i catch them so here i'm patting them down just take a paper towel there's no blood just pad them down this way i do not rinse them in water also this way the flavor stays there just pad them all down no rinsing is needed because there's no blood. Now I'm taking a little knife, sharp knife, and I'm gonna cut that rib, rib cage out right there. I'm gonna cut that rib cage and that one out. And see, here's the finished product. Rib cages on both of them have been removed. I did not put these fillets in water at all, so the flavor is there. Now off to the packaging. This will seal them up and you'll be ready to throw them in the freezer and then ready to season them and put them on the smoker. <laughs> 